This heavy duty air shrinker operates with 90 psi shop air. Its heavy cast iron frame has a 12 inch throat. The aluminum alloy you see here is 3003. It's 50 thousandths thick or about 1.2 millimeters. This 90 degree flange was previously stretched in the air hammer. And what I'm going to do is turn this stretched flange that hasn't been annealed into a full circle. The machine is running on automatic mode right now, so my foot is simply down on the pedal and I'm moving the material in cadence with the machine. A single tap on the foot control operates the machine one stroke. Holding the foot control down allows sustained operation at 60 strokes per minute. And it's capable of shrinking 100 thousandths mild steel or 2.5 millimeter mild steel. With good hand skills, you can move the, the metal in very precise increments. You can see the circle forming up very nicely here. I'll make an adjustment, then continue. I've increased the thickness of this material by about 50% at this point. But despite all of this working and no annealing, there are no visible cracks anywhere along the edge. The jaws are easily removable just by the pull of a pin and then easily reinstalled. This 20 gauge galvanized steel has been stretched in the center with the air hammer leaving the edges long. Here you see the long edges have now been shortened by shrinking. This is a close up view of shrinking this same part. I move back and forth on the panel in order to taper the shrink. By tapering the shrink, I match the contour that I need more accurately. I'll go over this with the air hammer again. But the polished finish that you see is just from the air hammer. These two pieces are halves of a lotus petal. They're being made very accurately and are Siamese. Here are the eight petals of the lotus bud. Four petals are joined halves and four petals are smaller single units. They have to be made accurately. This is the assembled lotus bud, ready for paint. If you notice, the fits are very smooth, the contours are very nice. And here's the painted piece finished and installed. The HDAS4 enabled this metal part to be made thicker than just by stretching alone. There are different jaw sets used for this machine. These are the extended jaws for making channel shapes, but I use them universally for making hollows and for working channels.